Hello, welcome to the Christmas Eve Daily Sporran, and today I'm going to do a song called Mrs. Tibbetts, the opening song from the Zealot Gene album, released right at the start of the year, back in January 2022. I wanted to do a song at the end of the year that had a Christmas theme, but also was from the new album. Mrs. Tibbetts just about does both of those things. Um, it's on the new album, but it has not a Christmas theme, rather a verse about Christmas in a set of what are, I think, quite wonderful lyrics. Um, but I'll say more about that at the end. Until then, hope you enjoy my version. Wish me luck. Thank you. 
hope you enjoyed that. So that's a song about Paul Tibbetts, the captain of the Enola Gay, the aircraft that, as I'm sure many of you know, dropped the atomic bomb on Hiroshima in 1945. But what's so wonderful about this song is all the perspectives Ian Anderson lyrically adopts on this theme. For a start, it's not about Paul Tibbetts. It's about Mrs. Tibbetts' little boy. So it humanises and actually makes you quite emotional thinking about the person who wrought such destruction under orders being someone who's just the son of a, a woman called Mrs. Tibbetts. But it does all sorts of other perspectival ways in which this song is so special lyrically, I think. Um, each verse has a different take on the combination of the magnitude and the horror of what the atom bomb being dropped on Hiroshima represents and constitutes, but also on the sort of prosaic mundaneness of life just carrying on anyway, you know, going home for holidays at the end, have yourselves a lovely Christmas after you've done this appalling thing. The justification, the utilitarian justification of killing so many people because it'll save many lives in the longer run. Um, and then the whole biblical angle on this song, the wonderful parallels between dropping the bomb and flying away and Lot turning his back, looking over his shoulder, turning to a pillar of salt. I mean, all sorts of biblical references, Judas, Peter, tying in the theme of uh, sort of Sodom and Gomorrah theme, which this song is based on in terms of the verse that's cited at the start and the lyric sheet um, with the apocalyptic side of what humans are capable of. It just has so many different themes in it and so many different viewpoints. Um, musically, there's a couple of things I love in it. There's a, there's a it's, it's, it's a sort of rocky song. thrown in or it's an actually an F major because the capo is on the first fret just throws you off kilter until it goes back to the riff again and then a very Ian Anderson Jethro Tull with a skip, skipped beat in the middle for its musical refrain so lots of elements of classic Tull even though it's a, it's a very recent very different incarnation of Jethro Tull with this latest album anyway I hope you have a wonderful Christmas uh, see you again soon